Shown as a semi-conservative model, in DNA replication, the topoisomerase binds onto the DNA strand to relieve tension during the unwinding replication process. The helicase will then bind onto the DNA and wind the double helix strand, with the topoisomers relieving tension as the DNA strand unwinds. In the leading strand, the top strand, a DNA polymerase 3, will move along the strand and make a new strand of DNA. In the lagging strand, the bottom strand, a primase will attach itself onto the DNA and make RNA primers. The new DNA must start off with RNA primers as another DNA polymerase binds onto the lagging strand and makes new DNA from the ends of each RNA primer. The RNA primers will then be replaced into new DNA by the DNA polymerase 1. DNA polymers can't join new DNA strands together, instead the ligase will join the DNA strands. The same process repeats until two new DNA are made, each with a copy of both new and old DNA. The reason why the telomerase at the ends of DNA are being deleted is because in the lagging strand, there will be a space at the end which new DNA can't be made. There can't be an RNA primer to start another strand of new DNA since there's no space left. Therefore, the human genome will get shorter by a tiny amount every replication.